Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Tuesday, July 28th, 2015. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cardoodle. This is Jim. Just in case you missed it, I just put up an episode of Welcome to Boulder Dash last Friday. Go ahead and click the link in the upper right corner right about now if you want to see it. There will also be a link in the description. And in today's blog, you're actually seeing some of the work I did on that cartoon. Yeah, I know normally you're going to see what I'm working on next, but I actually recorded a bunch of these ahead of time to make sure I was able to concentrate on a couple of important things going on in my life right now. So I didn't know exactly when that cartoon would come out. But think of this as like a making of special feature that you know just everybody watched on DVDs back in the day. In this blog you're actually going to see me alter this character. It'll look like I'm done but I actually had to change the hair and simplify it. Because I like my characters to be viewable from multiple angles, I have to be careful with the number of points I put in stuff like a hairdo because ultimately I have to be able to morph that between frames and if you have too many points it can really cause a lot of complicated problems that really take hours and hours to fix. Like for example if I had the original hairstyle on this character and I turned his head you would see lines kind of going through each other. You would see portions of his hair that were actually transparent like a big hole in his head. Maybe that's kind of hard to visualize. I'm sorry I don't have an example for you right here but that's honestly just one of the things you run into when you're animating using a computer and you're not using frame by frame. So while that cartoon was pretty short, it's probably one of the most personal ones I've done since the Ordinary Gym blog that I used to do. That's because I suffer from what I would call random cringe. I guess that's the best way to put it. I don't know if I'm the only person who experiences this, but every once in a while I'll remember a random moment from my past like years and years ago that I'm sure nobody else remembers and I will just totally feel uncomfortable. It's like nails on a chalk board inside my mind. I'm like, oh, I can't believe I did that. I remember when I was in a pretty desperate job search between 2008 and 2012, that I would read up on what common interview questions were. And one of those was, if you had a time machine, what would you do? Who would you visit? Something along those lines. And I guess the idea was to kind of see how you think. I never got asked that question, but honestly, my answer wouldn't be, oh, I would visit the colonial United States to see who fired the first shot of the revolution. I wouldn't go back and say, talk to Abraham Lincoln and have a deep philosophical conversation with him. I would probably do exactly what the time traveler in the cartoon did, which was basically go back, smack myself in the face and say, what do you think you're doing? Like some of the stuff I used to believe leave and used to actually post online. It's just, ah, I don't even like thinking about it right now. I don't know, does anybody else think like this? I honestly believe that if you go back five or ten years ago and look at yourself and you honestly don't have any cringy, embarrassing moments. Like if you genuinely look back and say, yeah, I had it pretty much together back then, I think you're probably either living your life the absolute best way possible or the worst way possible because you're not learning anything if you don't have that. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. And as always, remember to do like your mom told you and share. And I'll see you wonderful people next Tuesday.